Okay, so what's the negation of P or Q? Let's think about this silly example I had up here and turn it into an OR statement. So how about I say, I am green or purple? Or perhaps, let me think of another one to say, I've got a better idea. How about if I say, I have three or four heads. I have three or four heads. Well, that's ridiculous, right? I don't think I have three or four heads. So what would you have to do to show me that that was ridiculous? This is not true. Because I have neither three nor four heads. So I have neither three nor four heads. I have neither three nor four heads. But what does neither nor mean? It means I don't have three heads and I also don't have four heads. So what that says is, I do not have three heads, and I do not have four heads. So the negation of P or Q, to show it's not true, you have to show that P is not true, and also, Q is not true. So note how here the OR has turned into an AND. When we started with an AND, we got an OR and a NOT on both sides. When we started with an OR, we got an AND and a NOT on both sides. So you could draw truth tables to explain that, like we did before. But instead of doing that, I want to go on to implication. So let's think about implication. What is the negation of P implies Q? What is the negation of P implies Q? Is it Is it not P implies Q? Is it P implies not Q? Is it not P implies not Q? Or is it Q implies P? You have a little think about that. Perhaps you'd like to stop the video and have a little think about it. OK. Have you had a little think about it? I'm now going to tell you the answer. Which one is the negation of this? It's none of them. None. Of them. You simply can't state the negation of P implies Q in any of these very neat looking ways. You can't do it. The negation is simply P does not imply Q. If you think that's confusing, then it's a good idea to think about it for long enough that you can understand it, because it's quite important.